I wasn't planning on making a salad today, but this is something you can um, really make for festive, uh, as a festive dish or appetizer for holidays are up and coming and uh, I have so many ideas for um, festive and holiday dishes. This will be one of them, okay. Um, Alright, I call this sushi salad and sushi because it's got all the ingredients that I usually use for my sushi. I've got the rice and I cooked it. I know uh, it's easy to cook the rice so I'm not making a tutorial. Just uh, follow the packaging uh, instructions. And I've got some fake crab meat. Um, what else? I have my, what's this, uh, roasted sesame seed and then nori sheets I got. And I have my favorite uh, hot sauce, sriracha, how you call it? I don't know, I call it hot sauce. What else? I have mayo, avocado. Actually, I'm going to stuff the salad in avocado. And I also have this little masago. I don't know, I call this uh, tiny caviar. <laughs> this is red caviar, the small one. I don't know how it's in English. Okay, it says masago on the... Um, uh, on the box and maybe it's the brand name I don't know <laughs> anyway and I also have some ginger to put uh, on the side uh, as a garnish and I will probably serve this because I never serve this with anything else but this time I want to serve this with shishito uh, peppers I'll just saute them uh, in stir fry sauce very quick and easy okay and I'm going to start by chopping the crab meat and you can of course use real crab meat i'm using fake crab because this is my vegetarian's favorite salad so um, i don't want to make something she can't eat so but you can always make this with real crab meat i'm chopping this finely and i only have three avocados which means i'll have six stuff uh, avocado slices so i'm not making too much Oh my God. So you will make according to your uh, guests or um, according how much you, you need. So if, since I don't have too many avocados and this is just for me and my daughter, I'm making only a little bit. And I'll put the recipe on my blog at heavenly.com. You can multiply or triple the recipe as needed. Alright, so that's that. And to this I'm adding a little bit of mayo. about a tablespoon and of course this favorite thing and I forgot to bring the green onions that's very important I'll have to wash them and clean them how could I possibly forget something that important so I washed and cleaned my onions I cleaned and washed my green onions scallions maybe some cold scallions I call this green onions I, and I'm using only a few, three, three. Okay, just a little bit of this. I'm not adding any salt to this because mayo has the salt and I'll be drizzling this with some soy sauce. So I don't need any other salt unless you really like yours very salty. So our filling is ready. Very simple and quick and easy. I'll set this aside. And I'm going to slice my avocados and remove the seed, of course, like so. Oops. Okay, I clean. I, I cleaned. <laughs> I cleaned and washed my avocados. No, I just removed the seeds and I'm going to use a regular large tablespoon to remove them from their skins, just like so. And of course, very simple, I'll be stuffing this with some rice and salad. As simple as that. Turns out my avocados are overly ri uh, ripe, so when choosing avocados, make sure they are not too ripe, so they come out perfectly and without any um, 
perfectly okay so I start with a little bit of rice just uh, press it lightly and then the salad goes on top uh, this is this and I'll just finish everything quickly and show you the rest I'm, I'm simply garnishing the um, plate as well I have some teriyaki sauce this is just as a decor you don't have to do it do it and just slightly make those lines just to give your uh, plate some nice look I use the word just just so much and I notice that when I watch my videos okay this looks ready and I will simply place my Oh, and I started my <laughs> pan, fry pan. Uh, I want to saute this with soy sauce. No, this is, um, what kind of sauce is this? Oyster sauce. You can use any stir fry sauce. I'm just adding a little bit of oil. This should be hot already. I'll place this right there. And and a little bit of this sauce a couple of minutes until they are slightly brown and I'll probably add a little bit water okay and what I was doing okay so I'm simply placing my avocados thank you Lucy on this platter like so what else to garnish them I like using this sesame seeds you can use either black white ones or uh, white. white ones thank you Lucy you're so helpful today something like this and of course let me place this ones too in the center okay I should have made a little bit more a couple more Richard that's done can you turn up oh it's turning just give it give it to me are we gonna put the whole cake on that where do I put the cake what cake the sushi cake sushi cake what's the cake I'm not making up. I'm just making salad, no cake. Oh, okay. <laughs> I also have a. I also make this sushi cake, the whole thing, and she she makes stuff. All right. So I'll just place these peppers in here in the center. And again, this is nothing required or just to give your dish a little bit uh, more taste and texture and design anything you want to call it and spiciness okay this is here and with the leftover rice I'm simply going to make this um, where is the water rice bowls and place them all over the plate and be sure to wet the spoon so the rice comes out perfectly probably like this and of course I need to garnish it with some sesame seeds and I also have some nori uh, I'll just make a few stripes or how do I call it? Lil. Sushi I wanna... cake. The mini sushi cake? No, I'm just going to <laughs> slice this nori thing not slice, cut with like into the squares and then roll it later? No! Okay I'll show you. I just want to like cut like this. Strips. Strips, okay. You said, I said stripes. Okay, strips and stripes. What's the difference? Strips mm -hmm. is like little... Strips can be anything, but stripes is... Okay, it's like a design, right? I don't know. Just use your imagination. Okay, right now, um, most, of, uh, most of it I am just improvising. Right, Lilith? Right. Good job, Ani. Under Very your improvisation. Big word. <laughs> big word? What's the big word? Improvising. Improvise. I know that word by heart. 
I use it in Armenian too, as an Armenian word. Right. She's cool. Mm. She uses the word improvise in Armenian. <laughs> okay, so that's and that. We'll... And I'll, I'll probably continue garnishing with some more rice over there. And on the rice I'll sprinkle with some black sesame seeds. See, if I can it. open this. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'll do it like this because I couldn't open it. Just like so. And I usually serve this with drizzled uh, soy sauce. And that masago, I'm not going to put it all over the thing. Uh -huh. And some of these, probably I'll put it in here. Ginger. Put it where the pickled oyster ginger. sauce is so I don't eat it. You don't <laughs> eat this? No. I don't like it. I love this. It's like the best thing with sushi. Best thing with sushi, su sushi is soy sauce. Yeah. I'm so boring. <laughs> soy sauce. Okay. And this thing, this thing, I don't know how we call it. I'm, I'm only garnishing the plate, okay? So you yeah, don't have to eat Look it. out, <laughs> gotta look. Make sure it doesn't touch. These are just ideas for you guys to to make something different and uh, a little bit festive for your holiday table. And that's it, I believe. Huh, Lil? Do I do anything else with this? And um, yeah, why not? Let's, I'll, I'll slice, I'll cut a few green onions. Put a giant piece of this on it and press down and then make a sushi cake. No. <laughs> That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Detailed recipe as always on my blog at Helene.com. Remember to like the video. And subscribe. And subscribe, yes. Even kids know what to do. <laughs> okay. That's it, huh? It looks nice. <laughs> Nice. Sushi avocado. <laughs> Sushi avocado cake. That's it.